Hi, we're going to taste and review. Now, I'm going to get this name wrong, I'm sure. It's Rocca Giarda Canti Classico Reserva. <laughs> I, I couldn't do any better, John. I love it. Rocca Giarda Chianti Classico Reserva. I'm, it's well, a little gonna, bit more of an Italian little like, swang yeah, That's all right. I, th I think if we put that up and uh, ask people to uh, give us a shout out and see how that's done, because obviously we're just going to look silly. You know? Well, we always do. <laughs> so, let's hit it. So, whatever the name that we described <laughs> in the beginning, this is a Chianti. Now, I have to say, Chianti isn't one of my most favorite uh, wines. I find it a little bit too tanniny, uh, a little bit too acidic for, for my stomach, um, and just the overall taste doesn't hit all the buttons for me. That okay. doesn't mean to say, of course, it doesn't for you, it's just my personal uh, taste. Like I said, there's, there's, nothing, there's nothing wrong with, uh, with saying that, John. You don't, you, don't have to, you don't have to like every wine, do you? No. Every wine doesn't have to be your favorite. No. Uh, but I mean, that, that's, again, what we're here for, is trying these different things. He, he, we're going outside our comfort zone as well, because we're, we're asking other people to go outside their comfort zone and try X, Y, and Z, just sort of on our words. So it's about time we, we should do the same thing. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> right, shall we uh, have a look at the color? Let's do it, John. So that has got a little bit more tawny colour to it, a little bit of brownish to it to me. Yeah, it's a, yeah, definitely. Has got that in there, hasn't it? So it's a, it's a nice colour. It's, it's a, a rich colour, isn't it? It is. It looks like a classical wine colour. I could imagine sort of, it looks a bit like, I don't know why, but it looks sort of like a French classical burgundy or a Bordeaux would look in terms yeah, of colour. I, I like that, I like that. Yeah? Because we still do start thinking now, into it. Now I've just insulted everyone in Italy who thinks, why are you comparing us? <laughs> <laughs> right, old, old world, old words. And, and, and yeah, when you start thinking about it, because there's so many, so many ways you can describe uh, the colour, isn't there? But I think mm. if you get that around there, like you're saying that, your oldie world style. Yeah. It, it bends your mind a little bit more around the, it, but yeah. As they, as they say in the South, classy. As they say in the North of England, classy. As it should be, yeah, classy. Classy. It's a classy bit of wine, is that love? Classy. Classy colour, that. Classy. Okay, well, um, should we have a little... I want to hear you say classy again. Classy. 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 <laughs> classy. <laughs> classy. It does feel right, isn't it? However, yes, it's a very classy bit of wine. <laughs> <laughs> I like the classy <laughs> colour. <laughs> yes, let's have a go on the nose, John. Whoa. Oh, that's that smells nice. <laughs> <laughs> that smells better than I thought it was going to. Uh, I'm not sure it smells classy. Classy. I wasn't I, I wasn't sure what to expect, but yeah, it's nice. It is nice. I can almost smell it, I think because I'm fearing it, the, the tannins in that. Do you know what I mean? I can almost smell the tannins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you, the, but like the you mentioned, this is, this is the thing that you don't like, so you, yeah. like, you, yeah, you are, you're going to be looking for it. You're going to find it. Like, about yes. it yeah. Uh, so, so I'm not getting any fruit in that though. I'm getting a quite a perfumey. You know, yeah. I wouldn't say uh, no, there's no fruit particularly stands out. It's that perfumey kind of. Do you know what this just brought back to me? And I don't know why, what connection I've got in my brain with this, but it reminds me of uh, school classroom. No, 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 that is a new one. But I, I, I think that is brilliant though, because that is some. He's excellent how it's evoked some kind of memory or something in there that yeah, you can well, then I'm associate. Sort of, I'm sort of thinking, what's what's in a classroom? So sweaty, sweaty bodies, um, chalk, chalk dust. Yeah, yes. Uh, yeah, paper, yeah. Paper, pen. Oh. I, I, I think for me it has as well. There's, there's something in there which which I, I know isn't, but I know we'll pe a lot of people will smell a wine or the taste of wine. And they say it smells of rubber, and I, it doesn't smell of rubber. But I think that might be the connotation that people will have. I'm not saying this is your school, um, your, your school days, but yeah, that is, I, I don't know what it is that's linked to that the classroom. To me, yeah, it just took my mind there. So, uh, so there must be, like you say, you're gonna have to see a psychologist after this. Yeah, but I'm ready to have a go on the old paladin. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Certainly on the initial taste, there isn't that tannin. But mm. here it comes. Mm. Here it comes now. Mmm. Mm. And that's not to my taste. That last bit 
And then when it sort of comes in, fruit, great, it's nice tasting, and then it sort of, I get that tannin sort of flooding in. Yeah, okay, I, I, I get that. I get the, the tannins are quite, uh, quite apparent in, in your face there with this, but not as, it's not the worst. And I, I don't think that really takes it much away f f for me, definitely, from the, from the wine. Mm. Mm. No, I, I get, I get what you mean. It, it's the the taste is nice. I, I'm, I'm, I'm. It's, it's just not one of my favourite wines, I guess. So I, I think that as a Rioja. Now the other thing is this is fifteen pounds. Mm. Mm. Fifteen pounds. Mm. So we're in the mid range of price. Yeah. Um, it is. I think it's two thousand and eighteen. So you know, I have yeah. to say to be fair to them, you know, they've had that wine invested. Um, you know, sitting around for a long time. Um, which they obviously need to re recover their costs. Uh, yeah. It's better than I thought it was going to be. It's better okay. than a lot of Chianti's I've had. Having said that, probably I haven't been spending £15 on a Chianti before. No, I, I think it's a, it's a softer style of Chianti. I think that's why, that why it's appealed a little bit more to you. Um, yeah, Chianti, I, I expect to be a bit bigger than that, a bit bolder. Uh, I'm not saying it's a bad Chianti, I'm just saying that's, that... I mean, I, it's, it wouldn't be a go, my go-to wine is not Chianti anyway, but I can appreciate Chianti. Uh, and mm, for me, it's just okay. For, and, and then again, we, I know we take it into consideration, but it's, as John said, it's fifteen pounds. Yeah, which you know you have to take consideration. It's it's uh, if you're paying more, you expect you, you raise the bar in terms of your anticipation and, and uh, mm. the reward side of the taste. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, well, should we move on to pairing? Okay, for uh, for pairing. Uh, um, pairings, because uh, I, I, I'm thinking now in my wine, uh, in, my, in my mind about um, Italian cheese and which Italian cheese we have, and there's not, we don't have a huge selection because um, there are. I mean, I'd like, I'd like to go blue with this one. Uh, one thing that would stand out would be the gorgonzola, but I don't. Uh, I, you know, I think, I, I think I could actually go. Now this sounds a bit boring, John, but I reckon a blue Stilton, just a not crop all bishop blue Stilton. That I think we just you think the salt in it would yeah take the tannins nice, yeah. out and mellow those yeah so what about what about just the little bits of little chips of parmesan or do you not think you think that would counter the I it would it might fight be against strong, it, yeah. yeah I mean you, could, you yeah little shavings of it just yeah. the, the habit I, I, parmesan's quite intense though I would have to give it a go again it's a mood thing isn't it yeah it is a mood thing. In terms of food, one of the things I think would, would uh, I'd definitely go pasta with this, so something mm. like spaghetti bolognese. And I can imagine spaghetti bolognese, you sort of having spaghetti bolognese, t having some of this, and I don't think I'd even notice the tannin so I think that... Well, you wouldn't they disappear from the, yeah. the tannin, obviously, with, with the, the sauce and, and the pasta. So you would get pull more of that kind of the jamminess out of that. Yeah, I'm sure I would, and I, I think probably. And I think it's, very, it's the case, isn't it, that old wines, quite uh, old world wines, I mean, European wines, are very often uh, designed to go with food. So oh, not, yeah. not necessarily to be drunk on their own, where New mm. World's more sort of uh, focused towards being drunk on their own. Yeah. So, you know, I suppose to that end, maybe so I'm treating it unfairly, but I, I could see that with pasta, this is going to, yeah, balance mm. very well. And, and I probably would enjoy it much, much more with food. Mm. Okay, well, let's uh, move on to the score. Let's give it a score, John. Okay, a score, John. I'll uh, turn around so you can uh, give the mm. folks your view. Okay, I'm going to go... Uh, Right. Okay. Yeah, we are, John. Um, and again, everything taken into consideration. Everything I know you are going to, no, you're going to. Oh, the price, of course. 79. Oh, I said so, so 76. That's a big one. Oh, wow. 76. Okay. Wow, that's, that's quite a low one for you. Yeah, well, it was the £15 that did it for me. Yeah. Uh, although it's a, you know, it's, it's a nice Chianti. There's nothing wrong with it. It does what it says on the tin. But it's £15. And I, I, mm. 15 pounds isn't. It, Massively expensive, but again, when we put this into relation with other wines that we've had and and, and the prices, some are three ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you just got to look at it and think, well, mm. yeah, Ooh, yeah, uh, yeah. Cool. Yes, yeah, up. Okay. I say that. The glass is empty. Know. Yeah, and I'm sure mine would be if it was food. I'm mm. sure mine would be if it was if there was food around. But anyway, guys, um, if you want to look at other Italian wines, uh, we'll, we'll have some more. Uh, we'll do some links to those. Uh, until the next time. Chin chin. Chin chin.